Let's take a closer look at the Core 4 Preferences. The Preferences area comes with User Settings and Global Settings. In this video, we will discuss the User Settings. To open the Core Preferences area, select the Core drop-down menu at the top and then Preferences. Here we have two types, User Settings and Global Settings. User settings are where we can find all the user-specific settings relating to each core user. Currently, I have three core users, John Smith, Aubrey Jackson, and Robert Cole. Let's go ahead and add a new core user with this New Account button. Each time you toggle between user accounts, the current user will be highlighted in yellow. Here we can specify if the user is a technician. A technician is anyone out in the field with an iPad that will be completing work orders sent by a dispatcher. If you wanted to make a core user inactive, you could select the inactive checkbox and that would deactivate the account. These filter options simply allow you to display the active and inactive core users. I'll make Chuck's account active again, and let's begin by filling in his information. First we have the General tab. Here we have the account name, and if you were to change this, it also require you to reassign the password. If you just wanted to change the password, you could select this password button. This checkbox remembers the window position. This feature preserves each user's window position upon reopening the Core 4. Here we could insert a signature image. I'll go ahead and insert a sample signature for Chuck. These signatures will be used in letters. You could also clear and reinsert the image if needed. The closing signature is used in letters and emails. This can be a simple closing with a name and contact information. The next tab is the Email tab. Attachment settings come into play when we import emails with attached files. There are two options, to embed attachments or to store them as a reference. If you choose Reference, you will receive a warning. Let's select Yes, and here you would put in your Mac or Windows file path. Let's keep the Embed option selected for now. Below we have the Sending tab. There are three different options for sending mail. You could use FileMaker's traditional Send Mail command, which would send an email via your mail client. Or you could send an email in FileMaker via the SMTP. This feature allows you to send an email without needing a mail client. It will send emails directly via SMTP and here you may enter your SMTP settings. The third option is using a plugin such as the Outlook Manipulator. I will select the Mail option and you may test the settings with this button here. Then we have the Importing tab. This tab is where you will specify your Outlook watch folders to import mail from. This does require the Outlook Manipulator plugin. Next is the Calendar and Tasks tab. This area allows you to specify basic calendar settings for your user. We have the first day the user begins a work week, the default calendar for the user, the default calendar view which will open, such as month, week, or day, and you may specify the default user to assign new task records to. We also have the start and close of the business, and you may enter the title of your calendar in iCal if you are using the iCal Manipulator plugin. Lastly, we have the Address Book Manipulator tab. This tab allows you to enter the group name and address book that you would like to import all contacts from. 
Then you would select the Contact Import button to pull in contacts from this address book group into the Core 4. For more information on what the Core can do for you, please visit core4crm.com. Review the videos and documentation and try a demo. Please contact us via email, phone, or browser forum if you have any additional questions.